everyone, I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel, everyone. If you all are new here, then I am Janvi Pavar and let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about some better sentences, some better words in English language that can improve your English a little bit more. Like why to use normal English when you can use even better English. So there are some daily life sentences that we people use. For example, I'm tired. Oh, she's really cute. I don't understand it. So all of these kind of normal sentences, when you can convert them to even better words and better sentences. So let's go. All right, sentence number one. You know how we meet people and then we are like, oh, I'm so happy for you. So instead of saying, I'm so happy for you, you're gonna say, I'm over the moon for you. So I'm very happy, no, I'm over the moon. So you can use it in any context. For example, I'm very happy for you. I'm over the moon for you. She's very happy. She's over the moon. She's very happy for you. She's over the moon for you. So basically, whatever context it is, just use the phrase over the moon instead of saying very happy. So I'm very happy. I'm over the moon. Next one is when we say I'm really tired or I'm very tired. So instead of saying I'm really tired or I'm very tired, you're going to say I'm worn out. I'm worn out. So I'm worn out doesn't mean you are not wearing anything. I don't know if this video is going to monetize or not. But I'm worn out is basically I'm really tired or I'm very tired. By the way, I really want to mention this is that can you all see Buddha on my shirt? Yeah, I don't know why I mentioned it, but I just wanted to. Okay, moving on. You know, when you see someone and you, you go like, oh, she's really cute or he's really cute. Like when you see a baby, you go like, he's really cute. So instead of saying really cute or very cute, you can say adorable, adorable. For example, she's really cute or she's very cute. No, she's adorable. Or you can also say she's absolutely adorable, adorable. So instead of saying really or very cute, you're going to say adorable. Moving on to the next one, you know, when we say, uh, I don't understand it, you know, when you're going through something, when you're reading something. So when you, you're, you say, I don't understand it, I don't understand any of it. No, you're going to say, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like a native speaker will definitely say, I don't get it. So whenever the next time you're reading anything or, you know, you're just confused and you do not understand anything, you're going to say, I don't get it. Now, I don't get any of it. So I don't get it. Now, the next one is I don't have any money. You know, when your friends are like, all right, the party's on you today. You're going to throw us a party. And you're like, I don't have any money today. No, you're going to say I'm flat broke or I'm broke. So doesn't mean you're like broken to pieces, your body's broken or your heart's broken. You're broke mean, means you don't have any money. So I'm flat broke or I am broke is I don't have any money. Yeah. Moving on to the next one. When you say to someone, okay, let's meet up or, or let's meet today. No, instead of meeting, you're going to say, let's catch up today. Let's catch up. So to catch up means to meet. So instead of saying to meet, you're going to say catch up. So when you're saying this to someone, all right, so uh, did you meet him today? No, you can't ask him, hey, did you catch up with him today? So basically, whatever the context is, you're just going to use the phrase catch up instead of saying meet up. So basically, hey, are we going to meet, uh, meet today? No, are we going to catch up today? So to catch up means to meet. Moving on to the next one, you have to decide. You have to decide. You know, when we say, all right, so you have to decide on this. What are you going to do with your future? Instead of saying you have to decide, you're going to say, you're going to have to make up your mind. You're going to have to make up your mind or you have to make up your mind. So you have to make up your mind basically means you have to decide. Or, you know, when, you, when I say, I got to make up my mind. So basically that means I got to decide. So when I got to decide something, I got to make up my mind. Or, you know, we say, no, he has to decide. No, he has to make up his mind. So to make up somebody's mind is to make a decision. All right, moving on to the next one. We say, I'm very hungry. I'm really, really hungry. No, I'm starving. I'm starving. So you're not really, really hungry or you're not very, very hungry. You're starving. 
So instead of saying, I'm hungry, she's hungry, he's hungry, or I'll be hungry by then. No, you're going to say, I'll be starving by then. So instead of the word very hungry, you can say starving. Starving. Moving on to the next one is, I'm listening to you. You know, when like you're listening to me right now and I ask you, hey, are you listening to me? So instead of saying, yes, I'm listening to you very attentively, you're going to say, yes, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Doesn't mean you have all ears up your body because that would be really gross. But I'm all ears basically means I'm listening to you. Hey, what's the plan? So the other person says, yeah, please tell me I'm all ears. So basically, yes, I'm going to listen to you or I'm listening. Please tell me. So I'm all ears is I'm listening to you. Next up we have I can't come. I can't come. So instead of saying I can't come tonight. No, you're going to say I can't make it tonight. I'm sorry. Hey, where's Josh? Sorry, Josh couldn't make it. So couldn't make it means couldn't come. Hey, are we going to the bar today? No, sorry, you go ahead. I can't make it. So I can't come. So not coming somewhere or not going somewhere is not making it. Is not what? Making it. Next up we have, I really like something. For example, I really like euphoria. So you, instead of saying, I really like euphoria, you're going to say, I'm really into euphoria. I'm really into Euphoria. So I really like this series. Hey, how'd you like the new series? Oh, I really like the new series. No, you're really into the new series. Like you're not into into the series, but you're into the series, which means you really, really like the series. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. And other than that, if you all have any queries, you can follow me on my social media. The links are in the description box below. And you all can also check out my courses, like my British accent, American accent courses. The links for them are also in the description box below. And yep, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye everyone, stay safe.